not John Cattucci. I'm Lydia, but I know good food when I eat it, and this joint is cooking it wrecked. Do you want to try Scandinavian food in Vancouver? Go ahead, say it. You gotta eat here. It's like looking in a mirror. Next time, more eyebrows. Okay. Okay. I love this place. Why do you love Scandalicious? The food is so good and it like bursts your taste buds out. <laughs> you haven't lived life until you've tried it. <laughs> so, Lydia, tell me about Scandalicious. What kind of food are they doing here? Scandinavian comfort food. Meatballs and waffles. Chicken and waffles, order up. The chicken and waffles is really tasty. Crispy bacon. The waffle is a, like a cornbread waffle. The chicken itself. It's also cornmeal. Why do you think kids love this place? The food is amazing and everyone is super nice because there's lots of sugar. I was never actually a big fan of mixing sweetness or savory until the burgers. Maple bacon jam burger for pickup. Delicious jam filled to the brim with bacon. Apple pieful's up. The apple pieful. I love it. Say it. Okay. <laughs> apple pie full? Apple pie full. All I know, it's delicious. So everything you love about an apple pie? On a waffle. Pie, waffle, pie full. Pie full. Apple. All right. <laughs> so we've got our water here, liquid eggs, honey, and the vanilla. We can start adding in our dry ingredients, so milk powder, salt, <laughs> cornstarch, flour, pearl sugar, yeast. Mix it for a couple of minutes. It's ready for the butter. Take it out. Make a little ball, let them sit and proof for about 10 minutes before we go ahead and put them on the iron to make the waffle. Great. Apple pie topping. What kind of apples are you using? Red delicious. So that's our brown sugar, white sugar, ginger, cinnamon, cloves, water. 15 to 18 minutes to cook. Cornstarch slurry, gonna thicken it up. Dough is rested? It has. Dip into the pearl sugar, put it on the iron, three minutes to cook. Oh yeah. Fingies can handle it. It's fine. <laughs> Gingerbread spread. Scoop of the apple pie filling. This is whipped cream. Oh my god. Icing sugar, cinnamon, fresh apples. The apple pie full. That's beautiful. Taste lots of apples. Gingerbread. And the cinnamon's like the perfect touch. Mmm, so delicious. <laughs> Wonderfully cinnamony. That pearl sugar, the super sticky sweet mess. That gingerbread spread kind of melts into it as well. I, I like this like so much. These recipes have been passed down from generation to generation. Monkeys munchies up! Peanut butter, bananas, cookie dough, and whipped cream. Mm. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Apples ready? Well, it has like cheese on it, apples, bacon. Avocado. Yeah, avocado. Kumla, order up. Kumla is potato, some oatmeal, and pork. It is like nothing you will ever try. Like a potato pancake, but meatier? It's delicious. Kumla. What is kumla? Kumla is a traditional Norwegian potato dumpling. Gonna start off with our stock pot. We've got our boiling water going. We've also boiled off some salt pork as well. Beef concentrate, and then thyme. We've got our grated potatoes here. Flour can go in, whole wheat flour, oats, sugar, thyme, and salt. Start forming them. Uh, softball size is good, but you're gonna make a little pocket in there. Salt pork. I think every culture has their own sort of dumpling. Mm -hmm. Take our spoon here, just place it down like so. 50 minutes. The kumlas are done cooking. Slice it like half an inch in thickness. Heat up our skillet, put some butter on there. We can start our eggs. The back bacon. Kumla is done. Serve this with more butter, of course. Of course you are. Yes. Parsley on there. And then our back bacon is some salt. OK. Kumla and eggs. It's got this great crunch, chewy, soft inside. They're really dense. Dip it in the egg or mix it with some bacon. Eat it every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very hearty. It's almost bready. And then you get that salty pop from the salted pork. Very savory. And the eggs are done to perfection. I love that you, the yolk gets everywhere. That's what makes it. That's uh, my it. first kumla. <laughs> Do you always leave full? Yes. You have to roll me out. <laughs> West Coast, order up. Salmon, hollandaise, and eggs. Capers, bit of onion. It's a good mix. Yeah. It's so creamy. Mm. Oh, that's good. Are you sure you're not going to share? I'm definitely sure. Sharing it is, is caring. caring. It is caring. Yeah. In this case? No, in this case. What was that? Order of meatballs up. A ton of food. <laughs> Five meatballs and a pound of mashed potatoes. Do you want to come into the kitchen and find out how to make those uh, Norwegian meatballs? Yes. OK. You're obsessed with these meatballs? Yes. <laughs> then you can make meatballs and then bring them to school. Meeple stand. Meeple stands. What is the first step? The first step, we're going to take our milk and we're going to put it into our breadcrumbs. Whee! Go ahead and put the allspice in. Mm. That's your nutmeg there. And your ginger, mm. pepper, salt. How are your egg cracking skills? Terrible. Terrible? I feel like I'm going to mess this up. That was oh, perfect. Yes. That's better than mine. Yes. Yes. Every day. So blue gloves for Lydia mm -hmm. with your Fancy. outfit. I've got onions here. Here's a good trick. Go like this. <laughs> Scrunch the meat. Scrunch the yep. meat. Breadcrumbs. OK. How do you do it so fast? Oh, I went to camp. Oh, meatball making camp? Yep. 
Giant tree. You want some meatballs? That's what my status is called. Huh? Yeah. But you have to yell it like that. So, so now so. what's yours going to be called? Better than John's. <laughs> People will come because it, it is true. He's a little upset by that, but oh, that's wow. OK. I'm coming back. I'm OK, guys. I I'm just needed a moment. So now we are going to sear our meatballs. This is just canola oil. Good high cooking temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Meat tramps! Where did the tramps come from? Came from my grandmother. Amazing. So we're going to take our beef broth now, and we're going to pour it into our pan to deglaze it. Pour this into here. Mm -hmm. 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Mashed potato time. We're going to rice them, just so it gives it a nice, fluffy texture. Close this and squish it down. Rah! Squeeze. You could do it. In here is the warm butter and milk mixture. Okay. Salt. Pepper. Magical fluffiness. Aww. Bring it over. Wash this over to you. Wash this. Two for me. Two for me? No. Well, let's I thought you guys were learning to share. We're sharing. We're going to share. Okay. Five meatballs on here. So the way that we do our gravy is we start off first with some butter in a pan. We add in equal parts of flour, the juices from our meatballs, Norwegian goat cheese, lingonberry jam, put some parsley <laughs> in there. Makes it healthy. There you go. It does. Meatballs. Got my own ah. special cutlery. I had it engraved that I dined with John Catucci. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Is it worth the wait? Mm -hmm. So delicious. Oh, they're amazing. They're savory and they're kind of sweet because of the lingonberry jam and the nutmeg. Oh, with the creamy mashed potatoes. It's amazing. Harmony. <laughs> Lydia, I usually don't take advice from kids, but I'm so glad I listened to you and I came here to eat these meatballs. You gotta eat here. Saturday dinette. This is one of your favorite places, is it? Yeah. Tell me why. It smells good. Yeah. And Aunt Suzanne works here. Kids' menus are so predictable. There's always a plain grilled cheese, maybe some chicken fingers. Boring! Oh, but he means to say, not boring. It's just that it's just it's so boring. My friend Luca orders off the big kids' menu at Saturday Dinette, where Aunt Suzanne's ribs are so tasty. You gotta eat here. We're here at Saturday Dinette. Why do you think this place is fun for kids? The food. We came here, and they had pancakes. You look very excited to be here, Luca. <laughs> yeah. The food is very tasty, and Aunt Suzanne works here. How does it make you feel when you see her? Happy. Order up, 80-20. This is fried cheese, fried leeks, 80% beef, 20% lamb. <laughs> Shove it in your face. That used to be my old show. Shove it in your face. <laughs> it's a real blend of Caribbean and Canadian. Order up, glazed carrots. Barbecue vegetables, and I get that earthy flavor from it. I like them. It tastes like sweet, salty. Order up, mac and cheese. I love it. It's really, really cheesy. So I'm going to cook with Aunt Suzanne. If you get really annoying, then she'll get angry. OK, so don't get annoying. Yeah. I can't promise anything. So I hope you're hungry today. I am, I am hungry. I came with my eating pants on. OK. We're going to start with the coconut macaroni and cheese, the roux. Butter, throw so our flour in. The coconut milk. Coconut in there. Now our dry spices. Nutmeg, salt, black pepper, two pinches. Our special hot sauce. Spicy? Maybe. <laughs> a barty and a five year cheddar. I love it. <laughs> Cooked pasta. Bechamel that we just made. Beautiful. Water. The spinach. <laughs> Mama says eat your green. Best in pan. House made cornbread cheese blend with fennel butter. Straight in the oven. The bechamel starts to bubbling up on the side. And it's manja. Toasted coconut, fresh chives. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm always happy when I eat the macaroni and cheese. The first thing I taste is coconut milk. Sweetness. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. If you don't smile when you eat coconut, there's something wrong. It's honestly like sunshine. The creaminess is still there. The pasta is done to perfection. And I love the toasted coconut on top and the cornbread. Yeah, I really like that. Yay. Yeah. I'm gonna... Is she the kind of person who has to take care of you? Yes. Hey, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we greet each other. Yeah. Order up, trout burger. It's roasty potato, crispy trout, brilliant magic sauce Suzanne puts under here. This is big. It's like this, right? Yeah. Order up, red bean cassoulet. Cassoulet is a meat stew, but I'm eating the vegan version. It's really good, delicious. Warm, it's hearty. Or a fried chicken. Tastes like chicken wings, more savory and tender. I'm gonna make you fried chicken. We already actually started our buttermilk, milk and lemon juice. Buttermilk, deal. Right, add garlic powder, do a dash. Actually says a dash on it. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Salt, paprika, yeah. cayenne, let's do a pinch. And black pepper, a nip. <laughs> now we can add a chicken thighs at least two hours before. 
Now we make our dredge. Okay. Cornmeal, chickpea flour, paprika, cayenne, garlic powder, salt, and some pepper. We've got our dredge, chicken, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> Pan frying gets exactly what you need done. Yeah. Grits are basically coarse grade cornmeal. Okay. We've got some homogenized milk, some water, our grits, some salt. Let this cook 10 minutes. They can take a lot of butter and cream, can't they? They can. <laughs> Lemon juice, huh? Lemony grits. Our grits are ready. OK. Put down our chicken, two biscuits, crispy chicken skin, pepper, a little sprouted, chive oil that we make in-house with uh, canola oil. Beautiful. The grits are so creamy. It goes really well with the chicken. So good. If I was allowed to, I would eat here every day. So beautiful. <laughs> nice and crispy, juicy. All those flavors go right inside that chicken. Ooh, that cayenne plays. And it's nice and light, the batter. Oh, I've never had grits with lemon juice in it before. First time for him. Yeah. So your nephew's here. He's going to want to help us out in the kitchen? I think so. When you walk in here and you smell that food, you get hungry? Yeah. Order up, ribs. They're as sticky as, like, dumping your hand in a molasses. I can promise you at least one rib. Yeah, two. About one and a half. Two. One, two, three, show. Duh! Get up on there. <laughs> We're going to mix our dry spices. Let's do cinnamon, sugar, salt, black pepper, paprika. There you go. So put your gloves on. I think they're too small for you. You think we're wearing the wrong ones? Yeah. yeah. I'll sprinkle it on. You start rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to stir them off. So okay. let's prepare our liquid braising first. Orange juice it. first. The soy, red wine vinegar, molasses. Yeah. We'll be back in about 20 minutes. <laughs> or you can do that. Sure. No. <laughs> On to the flat top. We want ribs. We want ribs. One, two, three, show. <laughs> Going in. Beautiful. Three to five hours. Is that what temperature? 325. Pour off some of the liquid or in the hoisin. What's hoisin? Chinese barbecue sauce. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> when it gets mixed in, it's going to be less intense. Oh, yeah. Just get a nice little facial. Scordalia. What is scordalia? Garlic walnut dip. Do it. So these are pre-boiled potatoes. Garlic in, lemon juice, salt, pepper. Push the button. Olive oil. Thick, garlicky. We can eat. Let's cut some ribs. So three for me, and you can watch. Mm, oh. There's some more here. Coat these ribs with some of our rib sauce. A scoop of the squidalia. Oh, yeah. Black pepper, sproutage. Can't wait to eat these. Jump in, boys. Oh. <laughs> The sauce is tangy and sweet. The beef rib is it's so tender. It still has a bite to it. That scordelia, you like that garlic? Good. Yeah? It's really fun because we get to eat it with our hands. We'll put you in the dish pit and just hose you off. I think that might be easier. This place is called Saturday Dinette, but you can eat here anytime you want, except Mondays and Tuesdays because they're closed. Yeah. You gotta eat here! <laughs> Why do you think kids love coming to Louis? It's crazy. Storming Norman. Nice grill marks on there. Cooking the cow. Oh, <laughs> cooking the cow, guys. I'm in Ingersoll, Ontario, and today is a very special day because Louie's Pizza and Pasta is going to be Maddie's Pizza and Pasta. And Panzerati. And Panzerati. Maddie's Pizza and Pasta and Panzerati. And that's a lot of words in the title. You got to eat here. Maybe we'll just kind of shorten it. Are you a regular here at Louie's? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love Louie's because it's delicious. Louie's has got the best pizza in town. Margarita pizza. You can have a big crust or a crisp crust. And the cheese is really gooey. It's really good. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you think kids love coming to Louie's? Because the food is really good. It's great food, great portions, great service. It's the place to be in Ingersoll. Normally, there's no one telling me to sit up straight. Why don't you sit up straight? <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo. Creamy and cheesy and yummy. Oh, you're going to love this, Anna. There's like a clown there. Mm, right there. I'm not looking. Whatever, it didn't work. Now, Maddie, I heard that there's a burger here, the Storm and Norman. Yes, very crazy. Storm and Norman, it's a huge burger surrounded by two grilled cheeses. I like the bun, yeah. It's got chili all over it. Juicy. Yeah. Good. The Storm and Norman is named after? Norm, our dishwasher, and the man can eat. 
Can you really? I <laughs> take a ground check. Crack our eggs in. Shells or no shells? No do it shells. Okay, just check it. Worcestershire sauce. Secret spices. Garlic. Breadcrumbs. I will work if you feed me. You got it. <laughs> Weigh up our balls. Eight ounce. I got this, kids. Boom. There it is. Kind of knead it out. All right, done. Next, we're going to prep our Boston Browns. They're deep fried potato ball. So we got our mashed potatoes, loaded mix. Cheese, bacon, green onion, spices, seasoning salt, coriander, onion powder, garlic powder. I got large hands. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ingersoll's smallest bowl. Scoop, perfect. Next, round them out, flour them up. The egg wash, breading, breadcrumbs, Italian seasoning, and Parmesan. Very good. Oh. Really. Next, build the Storm and Norman burger. Do it. Grilled cheese on the flat top. So this becomes the buns. Cheddar on each one. Let that bacon grill it up. Put our jalapenos on there. Next, deep fried our Boston Browns. Two onion rings, about two minutes. So you got bacon and one grilled cheese, and then jalapenos and the other. You got it. Oh, nice grill marks on there. Cooking the cow. Hello, oh, <laughs> cooking the cow, guys. Jalapeno grilled cheese, bottom. Half pound Angus patty, two onion rings, chili, beef, beans, vegetables, barbecue sauce. Top that up. Lettuce, tomato, bacon grilled cheese on there. Pickle and Boston Browns. Sour cream. The Storm and Norman burger. Best thing ever. It's tasty. And yummy. There's nothing I love more than grilled cheese with bacon. So making grilled cheese, the buns, you've already won me over. The patty itself, great season, nice and juicy. You add a little jalapeno, get a little pop there. There's some smokiness in that barbecue sauce. And then you mix that with the chili. This is really delicious. Good old Boston Brown. It's the beautiful texture. You got that crunch from the panko, and then just the soft, pillowy potatoes on the inside. Everything you love from a loaded baked potato, but deep fry it. Norman has a good thing going here. What is it about Louis that you love so much? It's inviting the staff are right there when you come in the door. We come here all the time. I love Louis because it's unique, and you feel like you're at home. You don't have to do the dishes. Yeah. Prime rib Philly. It's a steak sandwich. Yes, I mean, there's beef in there. Beef. Meat. Cow. That's a lot of meat. The most I've eaten is half. Spaghetti and meatballs. Meatballs are huge. <laughs> it's a big meatball. The meat sauce is really sweet, but has a tang to it. Next up, Molly's spaghetti and meatballs. First, ground chuck. While our beef cooks, we'll start our sauce. Oil heating us some onions. Add our garlic. Add our spices. Celery salt. Italian spice. Sugar. Black pepper. Parsley. Oregano. Basil. Garlic powder. Italian! Onion powder. A little bit of salt. Fresh Parmesan. Right in your sauce, huh? You're blowing my mind there. Beef's ready. Good old scoop and release. Two tomatoes. Tomato paste. Crushed tomatoes. Water. Simmer for an hour and a half. Meatball time. Ground chuck. Parmesan. Dehydrated onion. Italian spice. A Worcestershire sauce. And our egg. Oh. Mash it up, good and blended. I'll weigh these up, four ounces. Yeah, in your face. Throw it in our oven, 45 minutes. At what temperature? 350. Our meatballs should be ready now. Sauce is good and ready. Spaghetti, cooked al dente. Meatballs on top, sauce. Parmesan, fresh parsley, pepperoncini. Pop that up with our bread. Mama Molly's spaghetti and meatballs. Mm, the meat sauce is really savory, very hearty. I really like the meatball because it's really juicy. That's a good meat sauce. It's tangy, sweet, it's well seasoned. The meatballs are just big and meaty. Kids must love that. Absolutely. You like it? Mm hmm So is this your new favorite? I still like the panzerotti. Maddie's right. The panzerotti is the best thing in town. Large panzerotti. <laughs> and, uh... Look at this thing. Are you frightened? A little. <laughs>
There we go. We are ready to make the panzerotti. Hooray! This is our marinara sauce. Get a nice base on there. Pepperoni. What panzerotti are we making right now? Canadian. The Canadian. Pepperoni mushroom bacon. That's a lot. Bacon. A whole bunch of mozzarella. That is massive. Carefully pick it up, flip her over. <laughs> and, uh, this is ridiculous. Definitely don't want that to blow up in the fryer. Look at this thing. You want to try cutting it? Follow the rim of the pan. Are you frightened? A little. <laughs> That's in there fryer for how long? 20 minutes. You want me to eat this thing? Yes. That's insane. This is our large panzerotti. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> so yummy. Really good. I like the dough. Yeah. It's yeah. crispy. It's nice and chewy on the inside. And the cheese is really gooey. Tons of pepperoni, smoky bacon. And the sauce is really sweet and tangy at the same time. Delicious. I love just a regular panzerotto, and then you just made the monster version of it, <laughs> you know? Maddie. Thank you so much for inviting me here to your favorite restaurant, Louis Pizza and Pasta in Ingersoll. But this, this is John's Panzerotto. Hey. You want some? Yes. You gotta eat here. <laughs>